As Ohio State prepares for the start of the football season, they do so with a revamped defense led by a new safeties coach and co-defensive coordinator Chris Ash. Former Arkansas and Wisconsin assistant knows exactly why Urban Meyer brought him back to the Big Ten. He sees the things that give him problems on offense, and that's what he wants his defense to look like. You know, and, and I, I completely understand that. You know, if I'm a head coach, uh, as a defensive guy, I study offenses a lot, and I have a pretty good idea of what uh, I would want as an offensive uh, uh, scheme, and, and it's no different for him right now. Uh, what he wants is a defensive uh, philosophy, so it's it's worked out well. As a D coordinator, I have a certain way I, I, I like to do things. I have a philosophy that I believe in, um, and if it was too totally different from that, I probably wouldn't wouldn't be here. But you know, I met with Coach Meyer, his vision for what he wanted his defense to look like meshed with what I've done. And um, I knew it was going to be a good thing from the start, you know, after talking to him. But um, like I said, I haven't done any looking back at last right, year. Right, right. Um, and for me coming in uh, as, a, as a new coach and, and uh, wanting the, the head coach wanting to go a new direction, a new philosophy, it does make it easier from that standpoint. Last year, out of 120 FBS teams, Ohio State ranked 76th in pass defense, and it was a problem that worsened as the season went on. Buckeyes allowed 288 passing yards or more in each of their final five games, including four straight 300-yard outings, and Michigan passed for over 450 yards, the fifth worst single-game mark in school history. It didn't sit well with the fans, coaches, or the players. It got kind of frustrating to keep watching it, and it, you just kind of question, like, why when we just do, switch it up? But I mean, I guess because we ain't practicing, so. But now that you go out there and you see people making more plays on quick, short stuff, it's like you more, you more like confident in the game plan. You know that the coaches know exactly what they're doing. I mean, we've taken everything personally. I, I feel. Uh, I think now we look at each other as a defense, and we look at each other. We know like the culture's clear and the mission's clear. And, you know, we know the job we have to get done. And if, you know, we're not holding up to our culture and we're not doing our mission, coaches are not going to play us. Um, I'm very, very serious. And, but, you know, now that everybody's on the same page, that's what kind of makes us more loose and it's like fun. You know, we took it when Coach Ash came in. You know, he knew we had one of the worst passing defense in the nation last year in college football. So he really wanted to attack that. And we use that as motivation now. So we're going to get ready. We're getting ready for it. You know, we're getting ready to show the world. So you're going to see what's in store. As a defense across the board, we know the task at hand and we know the job at hand. And we have a, like I said before, I mean, chips way too big for our shoulder. And it's on our back. And so we're going to carry it and we're going to get the job done. One of the buzzwords you hear about this new defense is aggressive. It's very fun, you know, with the, with the coaches dialing up. I tell them dial up every time on third down. So, you know, we get ready to come. So, I like where we're heading. Also new to the defensive staff, Larry Johnson. The longtime Penn State D-line coach has turned in all his blue pens and shirts for scarlet and gray. And with one of the top D-lines in the country, Johnson wants to work on their depth. I want to play fast. In a game of football on the defensive line is about playing fast. And a guy's got to play at his maximum speed all the time. It's tough for a guy to play 90 plays in college football and be at his maximum speed. So all about if he can play 65, play 75, play maximum speed. It's going to make us a better defense. So when you build some depth, a guy can go in and play 15, 20 play during the course of the game. It's going to make you better defensively. It also builds for the future. So you're not starting fresh every year with a guy who's never played in a game. I think that's real critical. With Braxton Miller out for the season, some see more pressure on the Silver Bullets. We can't look at it as more pressure. We got to look at it as a good thing as we moving forward. And you know, if we look at it as more pressure, then we get stressed out and things won't go the way we want them to go because we'll be all pressured and be worried about making mistakes. We still go out there and have fun and play the game because that's what we're here for.